Helps if I hit start stream, doesn't oh, yeah. it? Just a wee bit. So I have been fed. We are back. Trying to finish up this butterfly. And I have a small reprieve from attempting to do the RV Christmas ornament because she said she likes cardinals. Cardinals, while I've never really attempted one, I think I can work with that a little bit faster than I can the other. So I'm just in the middle of separating out our thread because we still have a little bit more um, stitching to go on this guy. No matter what way I try to grab this guy, it's constantly getting tangled. So Marvin, you might be doing some more floss holding. For me in just a minute. Like I'm trying to get as much of this done as I can, especially their two gifts, because they were here today. Um, they didn't say they were leaving just yet, but I'm like, oh, I'm not done yet. I need a few more days. So I was gonna just chill tonight. I was really thinking about it, but I'm not gonna be able to get anything done on Saturday. I know that. Because uh, Saturday's podcast day. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit easier. Grab one in each hand. Alright, All right, Marvin. Let me temporarily put the split piece in your care. Or one of the split pieces, really. Sorry, I looked at the piece of thread to uh, try to bring all the little pieces together. And now I feel like I've got a piece of fuzz. <gasps> no! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's, let's not do that. I have had nothing but thread just wanting to be an absolute nuisance past 24 hours. Okay, so I left, I'm leaving the, the white base down for right now.
Really, Momo? Not right now, buddy. Do right I? Now. Momo, I just took you. Not that long ago. Right? Like, had I finished eating dinner? I think so. No. And um that that Elmer's um what the hell was it that we used? Uh Pro Bond. Pro Bond um advanced. Really worked wonders on the back of this guy. Um so you can't even really see. We had put some on here and you can kinda see a little bit of shine on that knot. Um, but other than that, it worked really well, and uh, it set up pretty, pretty quickly too. So I was happy with that. Oh, don't don't knock that over. All right. So again, we're just kind of using. Um, shit. Stop putting yourself in knots. Damn it. Oh, of course, I just really, really, I just made it three times worse. Grr. Did not want to lose. That much right off the end already. Surprise. Alright, so um, we're using the, the photo as inspiration idea. We're not going to necessarily copy that 100% completely. It's going to be a little difficult to do in the size of the work area that we have. And I could have gone with a thinner thread set. Like I probably could have gone to twos. But at the same time, I kind of feel like twos might have been a little too thin for uh, how thick our felt is, I feel like it might have tried to just either just melt or not not be quite that that visible. Why are you being silly? I don't know. We will take care of you. And we go to secure the back. We got our little antenna guys. Those are looking good. And I'm just going to kind of outline our orange section here. I was just kind of using that for for inspiration. Not trying to do a dead replica. Oh, hey, Taco. Yeah, it's coming along. It's getting there. It's starting to look more butterfly-esque. And when I get done this one, then I have to try to uh, do a cardinal. I'm gonna probably try to do the cardinal in the same sort of style as this one, like 80s fuzzy patch. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I can pull it off. The thing I, I'm concerned about the most is making a uh, template because 
I don't really draw birds. I don't really draw at all. So if if my sketch looks terrible, we can just try to uh, print out an outline. But we'll see. I was on Unsplash while I was eating dinner trying to find cardinal pictures and I'm like, hmm, don't know if there's any here that I really like the angle of 100%. So kind of picked out a couple that I'll probably have to, whoop, uh-oh, there we go. I'll probably have to pull from simultaneously. Where are you? I have a thimble. I really should use that. So how is taco today? I hope all is well in taco land. Was our taco rific? Oh, uh, I was asking how were things in Taco Land, and I was hoping that they were taco rific. Still playing heck out of well. I mean, I've I played a little bit. I think I've got a half-assed bloodthirsty loop worked out, at least as far as um, waking shore is concerned. I think it's not the greatest loop, and there's quite a bit of dead space in parts of it. Well, more dead space than I would prefer, but. At the same time, I know it's a mob I can kill without too much trouble, so vendor trash isn't too bad off it at the moment. I mean, some of it's kind of crap, but they do um, they do drop a twenty gold vendor trash item. It seems and. Uh, I've only gotten two of them so far, but uh, they've got some other vendor trash that's kind of adding up sort of decently. I'm trying to be overly cautious since I haven't really done anything on a main as far as questing goes because I can't do the dragon riding that that that's not happening so I'm kind of like well is there any point in doing the campaign because the campaign takes you right into the dragon riding so I mean I could probably do some side quests on a normal or something but even my normals might be doing bloodthirsty. You found an instant spawn spot for leather farming. Not all that safe for a squishy challenger, but challenger, but profitable. Made enough so far to buy four tokens off the auction house with the farming. Jesus Christ! Is leather selling that good? Cause fish have kind of fish are doing okay-ish, but fish are also fluctuating really hard. Lots of greens too. Yeah, I misread. So you can fish up these copper coins. Um, 
there's a copper version, a silver version, and a gold version. I haven't seen any of the gold or, or uh, silver. And you can also turn in X number of copper coins and like upgrade it to one of the silver coins. And then you can turn in X number of silver coins to upgrade it to a gold coin. And I guess when I first looked at the vendor, when I first turned, um, when I had the quest to go turn the first one in and talk to him, I guess I misread it and thought I had to have 15 of the fucking things to buy anything. And uh, so I was like, oh damn. So I was kind of hanging around near the vendor because he's kind of a pain in the ass to get to. Not too bad, but still traipsing cross country is kind of a pain. And uh, when I went back, I'm like, sweet, I finally got my 15. It only took me like three days of uh, off and on fishing. And um, I went to talk to him. I'm like, oh, wait. He sells the copper. He sells um, copper coin um, loot bags for like one one per. And I'm like, oh okay so i i could have upgraded for one silver coin or i could have bought 15 of the copper coin loot bags so i ended up going for quantity and a couple of green pieces of gear were in there and some some more fish and I think I got some mollusk meat too, maybe, out of one of them. And uh, I was getting gems out of there too. And I was like, oh, the gems weren't really priced that great though. I mean, I guess they weren't bad, but it kind of depended on the gem color. I am really mad though that I fished up a uh, recipe in a bottle and um, it was for ins uh, I've gotten two things for inscription three things for inscription um, and one thing for tailoring I have I do have an inscriptionist but they're on the horde side and I named them time to scroll because they were making scrolls, but, um, but, uh, the one inscription thing that I got out of the stupid bottle was blue quality and soul bound. And I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm like, the fuck is this shit? And I'm like, It'll vendor for 50 gold, but I'm like, I don't have inscription on this character. This is an herb mining character, although he really hasn't been doing any herbing. I almost wonder if the flowers would be worth more than the fish at this moment. They probably would, but I think the flowers would be more of a pain in the ass to go find. The fishing, I can just kind of sit there. Well, is it the pattern that's... The, the, the recipe was bind on pickup. I can't even send it to anybody. Like, I'm stuck with it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm either stuck staring at it in my bag or I can vendor it. Like, the, the whole recipe is soul bound and I'm just like, what? I can't sell it on auction house. Oh, and that's another thing I noticed last night. Um, I was digging through the fishing journal yesterday because I was like, well, you know, maybe the the feast fish I should be going after or trying to figure out where they spawn. And I was reading about them in the journal and I was like, okay. And I had learned cooking on that character and I was like, hmm, I kind of learned it by accident, but um, I was like, all right. And, uh, 
noticed when I was, because I'm still trying to figure out what this one fish is for. I can't for the life of me figure it out. Wowhead doesn't know. They're just like, yeah, this is in the game. And one of the commenters was like, yeah, I have no idea what you do with this fish because I can't find an NPC to take it. It's soul bound. It's a green quality fish. There's no vendor value on it. It's like, what the fuck do we do with it? We're just stuck with it. And I'm like, okay. Well, I decided to dig through my cooking journal to see if maybe it was a cooking item. And I stumbled across the feasts and I was like, oh, how bad are these? And I'm looking at the feast fish and I'm kind of standing, sitting there staring at the uh, text on it. And I was just kind of quick reading it. It was really late this morning or early this morning, I guess. Um, I was just trying to wrap things up so I could go to bed. And I'm staring at it. I'm like, something seems weird. And it finally dawned on me as I'm reading the cooking journal that the damn, the damn fish for the feast said duration two hours. Or, no, or maybe one hour. It had a time duration on it. And I'm sitting there looking at the fish. And I'm like... Huh? The fish looks like it has... It's a blue quality fish. If I'm understanding this correctly, it might have a time limit that it's in your bag. And you can't sell it because it's soul bound. And I'm like... What? It looks like you can sell the feasts, maybe, maybe, but I'm just looking at that and I'm like, Ugh. there's going to be quite a few disgruntled raids out there <laughs> that uh, actually have to go and do the fishing and can't just buy the damn fish off of auction house if I'm understanding the text on this correctly I may not be but I was just like oh okay I couldn't get to where that fish was anyhow because it says it's like in the higher elevations which to me says that you need to use dragon riding to get to it so I was like well I wouldn't have been able to fish that anyhow for the time being at least but just I was like, that's dumb. Whoa, hold on. There we go. It's like, what is happening? Something strange is afoot. But um, I don't know. I was just kind of dicking around fishing for the most part. I probably should go to flower picking. That's probably where all the money is. But then again, I have no idea how many other people are actually flower picking. I made seven grand off of like 90 pieces of mollusk meat, but I think that was a one-off because the next time I went to post some, it was a lot cheaper. <laughs> so I was like, hmm. Well... Interesting. Are we really going to have to rethread this close to finishing? Probably that would be our luck, right? I wouldn't be surprised after I had to snip that knot situation when we were getting started. But I don't know, it's just easier to sit there and vegetate and fish. And maybe sometimes get a coin to pop up or or a uh, or a bottle. I haven't gotten too many of the bottles. 
I sold one of the recipes for inscription for uh, 1200 It's not too bad. Considering there were a few of them up there. Oh, what did I just do? I think I did entirely what I didn't want to do. But, I mean, I could have sent the one green inscription recipe to, actually, I don't know if I could have sent it to the Horde character, because it dropped on an alliance. I might not have been able to. So it didn't say a countdown. So that little bit of thread there is kind of loose. It's not real tight there. We will clean that up. with a spot of glue when we get there. I'm not looking so bad. Um, I'm not gonna do the like the little oh those dots are in another spot. Okay, that's fine. Um right. Scratch that. Never mind. Never mind, we're fine. So now we need to work on our little ribby lines. probably have to re-thread the needle on this one. I'm expecting to. I actually pulled out two more sections of uh, thread just in case. Now painting this would have been a hell of a lot faster. However, I don't know if it would have been like it might have been too fuzzy so the amount of lines that we had to do might have not um, like might have looked way too much like after the the stuff started to get fuzzy from touching it so Almost thinking we should take this down to two, but see now I'm cold. Now I gotta I had to open the window earlier. Now I'm freezing. Just put my one coat on. Like that is a uh, is a possibility, but so how many heroics have you run? If you're able to talk, I don't know if you're actually in a dungeon. If you're in a dungeon, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Curious how the interestingness of dungeons is going. Alright, so we kind of trying to see here. How do we want to do? So there is a bit of a section here. Let's 
going to come down to kind of like three, oh, not under my fingernail, please. Kind of like three uh, stitches in a row. Whoop. like one stitchy not quite straight through but kinda second stitchy and then we kind of have A third stitchy. And don't loop around that antenna, please. Thank you. Alright. We're gonna have three like that. And then. up here and this one kind of comes in at an angle and then we've got so one two so we got a second one kind of in the same vicinity one, two, and then another one kind of I'm kind of looking at this upside down and backwards a little bit. So then maybe we just kind of keep doing our little kind of stitchy guys sort of in the same direction as that was like totally off when I put that one in. That's all right. That's all right. As we can see from the photo, or maybe you can, it might be a little small. None of these lines are really straight. They're a little crooked and wiggly. And... But we're not going for a direct replica anyhow. But it just makes me feel a little less bad about it not being quite so dead on. Don't forget, guys, the Wild Challenges last show of the year is going to be, I'm sick of hearing me saying it, but we get so few people that actually remember to send in their shit. Um, the Deathless show is going to be December 10th. Please get your death lists sent in of your challengers that did not make it for 2022. Send them into podcast at wildchallenges.com as soon as you can, but no later than December 8th, please. We kind of need them. The sooner, the better. Because they have to be sorted and color coded and put into our show doc and it just makes life so much easier when we can get that sooner. Alright, 
so the other side's kind of the same way here. So let's see if I can pull this off with the same piece of thread. I don't know if that's going to be quite possible for me necessarily. Now we're going back up. So we're probably not going to be in like the same exact positioning. So one more. This one was a little bit, this one's a little high actually. Well, maybe not one one. I don't know, that one could have been a little, oh, okay. Well that was bound to happen, but. As long as we can kind of be similar. <laughs> then that's all we can really ask for. Alright. Oh my god, this one streamer I watch, I have this stupid... She has a redemption. <laughs> Nine! The corn song is stuck in my head. Make it stop. So she has this redemption for corn, and every time it gets redeemed, she starts singing along with this corn song. I am just going crazy over here because that's all that keeps playing through my head at the moment. I don't even know where the hell it came from. Do I need to get him? I thought you just did. It was when you took Zuzu. It's it was oh, well yeah, before. I took a while I was doing no, 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 no. It was well before dishes. I just couldn't remember what time exactly, but it was before dishes. No, that's fair, And he had peed for me um, up by the flower box on the uh, uh, the cucumber box. Or where we used to grow the cucumbers. I don't think it's supposed to get... Well, I don't know how cold it's supposed to get tonight. I don't remember. Alright, so kinda... Kind of works. All right. I'm gonna cut that longer tail off, but that we're gonna glue down a little bit more just to secure that. All three of those. So this is the ugly side of the butterfly. This side looks much better. All right. So let's see. So one, two, three. And I guess we can just kind of make whatever pattern we want here. Oop, get off of there. Oh, 
Momo doesn't fuck around anymore. Well, I specifically asked him not to, so. He's like, I'm done. Back in. To the home. Oh, all right, buddy. Send puppy to the home. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. Right now. Just trying to keep my dad out of the hospital for the holidays. I don't know if that's going to happen. Because he's got all kinds of fluid build up. I think they're giving him a couple of days. And we found out his diet has been way more salt laden than it was supposed to be. And we're like, what is going on? What are you doing? Um. We have that. And then we've got... Do I want to take you across the back or do I want to move you over here? Where are you? Alright, you're up against the body. Too far. Nope. I guess that can be a good starting point. Oh, that's been a bit of a steep angle there. And then we'll take this guy. My goodness, my aim is terrible. Absolutely terrible. No wonder I keep stabbing myself with the uh, with the needle felting needles. Alright, so we kinda have one, two kinda have a couple little ridgy lines going straight down this way. Kind of sectioning off these little butterfly wings. The best we can. Right, so one, two, three. In theory, there's four, but I think we'll only do three in this section. Yeah, I kind of had it out of the ugly stage, but now we're kind of in the weird wingy line stage, so. Now this one's not going to get wiggle eyes, because it's just not. You know, it's not so bad up in there. Um, I hate to cut this much off of here, but at the same time... Well, maybe we can get like one line kind of in. 
Maybe. Maybe. We will see. How the things go. not not fantastic but it's not terrible either gonna be a lot of wing stitching happening That's okay. We gotta get those lines in somehow, right? Oh, I hear little. She's announcing her presence somewhere in the house. She's probably meowing at Russell. I'm trying to drive him crazy. Mm. I don't have quite a bit of glue on the back side of this guy. I mean, I feel so bad cutting that much yarn, but our needle's long. So. Or a uh, thread, not yarn. With yarn on the brain. Alright, so let's work on. Getting some more floss undone. Actually, that bit of floss did did get us a, a good amount of real estate. Considering we went all the way around there. I don't think I want to go too much longer than that. Hang tight, Martin. Now, the fun times of, <coughs> excuse me, the fun times of triangle. Figure out this thread split. That's two. Do I want to go two? Or do I want to just go three? I think we should just leave it at three. But we will see what happens. We will see what happens is that I will get the thread all jacked up. Because it's me.
Oh, damn. What happened here? What on earth? Hop on the hill. No, no, no. I'm telling you. This thread. It's out to get me. One way or another. I'm telling you, don't normally deal with embroidery thread without telling me. No, you will unknot, my friend. You will not not. I will not allow it. Something like that. Alright. Let us keep going here. I just, I don't have enough hands, is what it really is about. Come on now, we're almost there. Okay. So let's quickly wrap this section on Marvin before anything else gets tangled or a cat decides to notice that I have string. Another, another reasons for needing to work quickly. Is this two? No, it's three. Okay, I was like, shit. After all that, did I like wrong split it? It was gonna be two. If that was the case. Although that might be kind of noticeable. It looks like we are three split. Like, I have a spool of this, but it's not in black, it's in pink. So, it doesn't really help the situation. Hell has frozen over. Your parents went to bed without dessert today. His sugar's not going to take a dive, is it? It's still been relatively high when he gets up, so... But... Yeah. Are they mad? Don't know. Or maybe it's just the fact that they had to talk to me in order to get started. Or it might be the fact that your dad is sleeping peacefully for possibly the first time in, like, a week. Does he actually have his, his machine on? Yeah, he... <clears throat> we moved over next to his chair, and yeah, I had him put it on earlier when I moved it. Mm -hmm. At, like... Maybe about seven o'clock, mm -hmm. and he's right the fuck asleep, just laying there with his with his legs up and his blanket on. He actually has his legs up too. Yes, Is the he, light off in there? Yes. Or? Oh, they went to bed, bed. Yes. Oh shit. Or at least it's close to bed, bed as he's gonna get right now. It's gonna fucking snow. <laughs> yes, in hell, in hell. I'm scared. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. I'm telling you right now. Maybe you should take the phone. <laughs> I have a feeling something's gonna happen. I'm scared. Alright, 
think we're just gonna kind of wing the rest of these these lines in here The rest of these guys are kind of just going across. Oh, they miss pop. Now, big question is, will I be able to get it to look somewhat similar? To the other side, and I don't know. I have no idea. We can try for sure. Is Tyler home? Did you guys need to do something? Um, he actually messaged me at 9.30 asking if we were going to do something. Do I so, need to stop? Uh, if you want to start wrapping up, if you're willing, that would be good. Because I know you haven't had the chance to do anything with yeah, him. Yeah, if it works with the fact that I think he's desperate for company, I yeah. Would, so, have, so, so, um, yeah. We'll we'll pause here. I'm probably gonna keep working on this one off stream though, uh, or I might record it, um, and that way we can at least finish out the uh, the video. So I will see you guys tomorrow, um, evening, afternoon, for Planet Zoo, and we might start to work on the aunt in law's gift tomorrow night late night maybe if i don't start it if i don't show it the start of it on stream i will record it and uh, we'll see what pops up on the youtube channel so you have fun in wow tonight taco have fun in your heroics and grinding for leather and all of the things and i will see everybody tomorrow hopefully for zoo if not for zoo then maybe i will see you for the podcast on Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Follow all the socially thingies down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.